Now, I know Super Awakenings are coming out very soon. At this point, it's pretty much confirmed within the next two weeks. Not exactly yet because the live stage hasn't happened, but you guys get the point. We all know what it is. Even though we have the new evolution coming out, we should all take a step back and look at the roots that we all came from, you know? Before there was all these crazy five stars in the game, before there was all these awoken units in the game, you had to scrape by with the bare minimums. And by bare minimums, I mean the four star characters. Back in the day, it was a struggle just to beat Aug in Chapter 5. That was a legitimate challenge. Nowadays, any of the Awoken 5 stars can probably beat Aug. But back then, it was a real achievement. Could you actually beat this game? Could you get to Chapter 5 and hear that sweet GS theme before claiming your victory, or would you die? And there was a certain 4 star back then that helped so many people claim that victory for the first time, including myself. And that was none other than the man Phoenix at LB. Zero. Actually, I think mine back in the day was at LB5, but uh, I sold him, so you can see how I treated this character. Being a four-star, he can't go any higher than this, and these are his stats. Look at that. That's terrible, isn't it? But he has the ability to be a healer. You heal all allies HP by 80% of your attack. And we can make this attack pretty good. Uh, I do want to try to get him max LB, so I'm hoping to get shafted on these ticket summons over here. We have 13. If you can pull like four phoenixes or five phoenixes, that would be great. Because if you guys don't know this, it actually costs LB stones to LB four star units too, which I just find absolute. Are you serious? You give me four of this blue dude? So we go over here to the luck buff system, since I have so many dupes of this character and I've pulled him so many times in gotcha summons, cause uh, you know, the shaft is real. We can actually go with a double crest and I think we can max out his attack so we can get like the juiciest heals possible. I guess the next thing I'd probably want to do is get HP. I would do arc age, but this unit is probably going to die like instantly if we don't have some type of decent HP pool. And then for the rest, I guess I'll just put into arc age. Look at that right there. That is a real man's unit. What's he say? <laughs> Have you guys ever wondered what this man's animations look like? Well, here you go. You have his attack, you have his skill, and his art. Look at this. This is where all the money is right there. Look how quick that is. Now this is a real man's team, brother. I just now realized too, I forgot to put a crest on this character, and I don't know. Let me see. We actually can give him an attack up crest, which is going to be best in slot, by the way. And since we have attack up, next thing we can give him is a hill amount up right here. I know, with all that said and done, let's actually see if we can beat rush to vanishing barriers i hope the phoenix doesn't just instantly get clapped let's see his heal though let's see his heal what's his heal looking like come on come on let me see it three thousand okay wait this may not be a meme hold on this may oh wait a minute this is me why does it take so long for his heal to come out it's not even instant. Okay, we may need to take off the Sestina and go with like another arch gen remember it might be better since he does buff up the stats of phoenix so we could be seeing some crazy heals actually i was actually surprised with the 4k not gonna lie let's see this though we're coming through with the heal real quick come on let me see it boom 3.4 thousand so let's see this real quick so we pop off with this it's gonna give us the stats heal for like 50 percent or whatever and then oh wait wait does he give me the little sucky suck huh? reincarnation i need you to reincarnate like right now brother or else we're going to die oh my god dude you're actually sh i don't really think it's phoenix's fault you know what whose fault i actually think it is i think it's urza she's literally here for no reason like, if i just go someone like sestina i think this instantly becomes winnable all right let's see oh my god i just got all my arc gauge just take it away from me again and bro here we go again with this stupid blind let me pop off of rimuru's art real quick oh my god please use your art already let me see this though i don't need to wait on rimuru let's see the reincarnation heal right here let me see it. Like 4K? 4K, right? Oh, 3.4. Easy. You know what? I'm taking off the Urza. Urza's just trash. She's the worst unit I ever used in this game. Like, watch how much of a difference this is going to make. You know what even make more of a difference? If I actually put Emperor in the right slot. There's one attack this guy can do, though, that I am scared of. And I think it will kill us if it actually goes off. And it's whenever he flies off and he goes, like, in the background and he does, like, a spike attack. I'm almost positive that's a guaranteed one shot at that point since we do have like damage res down debuffs on us at times but well, not all the times but you know it pops up here and there hey look you that's so much of a difference that 150 percent damage buff really be damage buffing you know i wonder if we'll ever see the day when if we actually do get more beast type characters and more like animal or like giant characters or something There's one thing i was talking about with all you guys on a live stream recently was how gs really doesn't have that many animal type characters or you know characters that are like beast or like robot characters i mean we have no Norn, right but like Norn is an android I feel like she's still like a humanoid we don't have like just a straight robot character it'd be really cool if we could see a character like that in GS one day and I wonder why they don't do that I don't know if it's harder to animate or 
harder to like build a model or a sprite around like a robot character compared to just a regular like human character or maybe they think it won't sell either i feel like robots would sell if you you know did them right and you made them like pretty strong i feel like it would it could be a selling point like imagine if we had a character that was just like a straight fiend that was a robot bro like are you flying off in the background okay no i don't think he is yet. wait he is isn't he oh no oh wow we survived i was more so scared for phoenix because i felt like if phoenix got hit he would just die instantly but like yeah imagine like a robot coming out and it doesn't look like eden or something like that it looks like more of a i don't know maybe like more of a mech or something it could even be more humanoid but they're just a robot instead of being an android like they are just straight metal cpu and ram and look at that we did it in two minutes and 53 seconds to be honest that wasn't that bad like let me see the heal though from Phoenix. I wonder. Did he out heal Rimuru? Rimuru wasn't healing too much, but I have to check it. I'm actually amazed. <laughs> what? That's insane, bro. Look at the heals, brother. That actually worked out pretty well. And have I been underrating this unit? Is this unit still kind of pog? I mean, I doubt it. I feel like this unit is only good if you have other characters that are able to carry the team but if you don't have a team like this or you don't really have a good like foundation or very strong units to just carry phoenix's weight then it's probably not that good because uh, especially this one since he's not even max lb i don't know if max lb would change uh the slot let me actually check real quick i think i can check that right you can preview it but don't do it let me see i can preview it and yeah it doesn't even change it it does give him a four star support which would help out a little bit but it wouldn't completely solve the problem of course that was a blast to the past and um hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'm currently not really trying to do anything super crazy in terms of videos since it's kind of a dead period right now and i'm also trying to prepare videos for uh, my vacation so uh you may get more of these uh one-off type videos where it's just something random that i found and was like you know what i want to make a video on it either way hope you guys still enjoy it hope you guys uh liked phoenix's gameplay thank you all for coming out though it's been your boy p don't forget to like comment subscribe for more and last but not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water